Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, I'm Mindy and this is See Mindy Mom. And I am really tired of cooking. <laughs> It is actually before Christmas. I think this video will probably not go up until after Christmas. Um, I'm sitting at work. I'm sorry, I'm not in my kitchen. It's been super busy and I got, a, I got to work for a meeting just a few minutes early. So I thought I would go ahead and shoot this intro for this video in my car, which I do occasionally because my car is sometimes a quiet place where I am actually alone and that does not always happen in my kitchen. But anywho, I am just really tired of cooking and meal prepping. And I think it's a combination of things that have brought me to this point. Number one, we're in a pandemic. We're not going out as much. We're not um, hosting as many like potlucks. We're not going to as many activities. We're not even going through the drive through as much as we would normally do. It's Christmas time. And normally, like I said, we would have parties. We would have events. We would be going to potlucks. We would be coming to things at church where there are meals provided. And we just aren't doing that as much. So I am cooking more. My kids have been home more. So I'm preparing meals outside of just dinner for them. Also, because of my channel and because of the videos that I want to make, I think I've been doing a lot more meal prep and just meals in general. And I'm just tired of it. I've just hit a wall with it. I just decided this week I'm going to try to make some dinners because we still have to eat, but make some meals that require very little, if any, prep work. Now, these are not all like dump and go meals or dump and bake meals. In fact, my oven is still broken. And I think that's one of the things that has me like because there's several things that I would make. There's some, you know, convenience foods I could use. I mean, I can't even make a frozen pizza right now because I do not have an oven. They were supposed to come and fix it last week. They didn't have the right part. They were supposed to come back this week. I haven't heard from them. Urgh, it's a mess. So I was just like, what are some easy meals that legit require less than five minutes of actual work. And that is what I am preparing this week. I feel like it's kind of like that show, Semi Homemade. Does, does, does anybody remember that show that was on the Food Network? And it's where she used like a combination of regular, plain, simple, maybe even from scratch ingredients, and then some convenience ingredients. And she would make like meals and cakes and snacks and treats and stuff that way. That's kind of what I'm thinking about for this week. Just stuff that's really easy, that it comes together really quickly, that I can just throw some veggie with and like, okay, dinner done. And I thought this might be a very helpful video for the week after Christmas, because let's face it, a lot of us, especially for the host family, or if we're helping prepare Christmas meals, I, I, I'm just like done by then, right? After Christmas day, after kind of the flagship Christmas dinner, those few days afterwards, I know we have leftovers and stuff to use up, but they only go so far. And a lot of us still have family that we have to feed. Maybe you have kids that are home from college. Maybe you have relatives that are visiting, or you've just got your own kids home on, on Christmas break, even if they're little. I mean, we still have meals that we have to prepare, but I'm just like tired of cooking at that point. So I think I have three meals that I can share with you um, that I have planned for this week. And, you know, I'll show you what we're having. And hopefully that gives you some inspiration and um, gives you some ideas if you are like me and are tired <laughs> of preparing food. The first dish that I am making is just a really simple pasta dish and these are the ingredients here. You guys know how much I love this turkey smoked sausage. I use it all the time in various and sundry recipes. And then I have a jar of queso and a jar of Alfredo. I'm only going to use half of each of those jars in this recipe. I have some pasta, a can of diced tomatoes, some cheese, and some salt and pepper. And some of these ingredients are interchangeable. If you have a different kind of tomatoes, if you have a different kind of pasta, you can see I'm just using up what's in my jar, which is where I throw kind of the odds and ends. If you want to use a different kind of cheese, that's fine too. I'm just giving my smoked sausage a quick chop and that is about all of the prep work that is required of this meal besides boiling some water for the pasta. Um, I could have made this sauce on the stove but just to make it even easier because I wanted to get it going earlier in the day because we were going to be out of the house for activities. I did just dump the ingredients into the crock pot. So I have my smoked sausage in there, my can of tomatoes, half my jar of Alfredo, half my jar of cake queso and um, some salt and pepper to season it and I'm just going to give that a stir and let it warm up. Everything in this is cooked already so I'm really just wanting it to warm up. I did not put the cheese or the pasta in. I'm going to cook the pasta separate and I will add the cheese at the end. Um, you can add different seasonings to this if you want to. You know you can maybe make it without meat if you don't want to have any meat. I really think this is a pretty versatile dish and you can use up you know just some stuff that you have on hand or go with a different pantry staple. So while that's in the crock pot um, Later on, I have my water boiling and I am just um, 
cooking my pasta to al dente and I'm gonna drain that and then I just dumped it into the crock pot along with the sauce that had been simmering with the smoked sausage and all of the ingredients from that give that a quick stir and then I'll dump in the cheese I had two different blocks of cheese that I needed to use up it was probably about eight ounces of cheese altogether so like a full block you could use less you could use more you could use different kind of cheese you could leave it out um, like I said this was just stuff that I had and it made a really easy quick meal and um, if you don't use steam in the bag veggies or you don't have like a quick go-to veggie option you need one this is ours we like the broccoli florets and I just pop those in the microwave and I forgot to get a picture of this all plated up, but here we are at the table and you could kind of see a little bit of my plate there with this really easy dinner. Okay, so what I have going on for dinner tonight is I am going to use the rest of that jar of Alfredo sauce and that queso I used half and half um, last night. And so I'm gonna use the rest of those jars to make up some chicken to go on baked potatoes tonight. So I've got three chicken breasts in the crock pot and I'm gonna put the queso and the Alfredo over the top of it. And then I have this like veggie blend. I wanted to find the stir fry peppers at Walmart, but they were out. That's like red and green peppers and onions, but they did have like a seasoning blend. So I don't have to chop any veggies. And I think it's like red and green peppers, onion, celery, that kind of stuff. I'm gonna throw about half a bag of that in with the chicken. I'm just gonna cook it in the crock pot. It's getting kind of late. It's almost three o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook it on high and then I'll just shred that up. And we're just gonna eat that over baked potatoes tonight. Um, I'm just going to um, put some potatoes in foil and I will also have to put those into another crock pot to cook because my oven still not working. Um, you can also cook baked potatoes in the microwave. My backup plan too was that I have rice so I could always make some rice on the stove. But again, that's like all the work that I'm doing tonight <laughs> with dinner. I thought about throwing some ranch seasoning in um, with the chicken and the sauce as well. So we'll just see. I may just season it after it's cooked and um, I think probably what I'm putting in there is gonna be plenty, but that's the plan tonight. Easy peasy baked potatoes with topping in the crock pot. Here are the baked potatoes and I have cooked them this way before. Obviously it would be easier just to pop them in the oven, but my oven's not working, so I'm gonna do it this way. And um, I have them in my shallow crock pot here, my casserole crock pot, but I've done this in a regular crock pot as well. So I've just washed my potatoes, wrapped them in foil, and I'm going to I just pop, pop the lid on. And I am going to do these on high because as I said, I'm getting a late start. But they should be done in about uh, two and a half to three hours whenever we are ready to eat. I've done corn on the cob this way as well. I've wrapped up corn on the cob in um, like foil and cooked it this way in the crock pot also. But you can do baked potatoes in there. Okay, here is dinner tonight. I have my baked potato with a little bit of the chicken mixture. You can't really see it there because I put just a little sprinkling of shredded cheese there and then some more steam in the bag veggies, broccoli with the sprinkling of Parmesan. Okay, night number three of I don't wanna cook and trying to make something that takes me like less than five minutes of actual work. And I'm going to make some chicken and cheese sandwiches. Now don't come at me for this meal. <laughs> um, I will explain to you what's going on with this. So when I was in junior high, we had three choices for lunch. We could bring our lunch, we could eat in the cafeteria, or we could eat in what they called the student store. And the student store was basically like a concession stand. I mean, they had like chips and candy and nachos and stuff. It was, it was during the days when they could actually sell that stuff at school. But one of the most popular items was a chicken and Swiss sandwich. And it was basically just, a bun and a chicken patty and some Swiss cheese and you stuck it in the microwave and served it warm. I don't know why they were so popular, but they were so popular that they usually ran out. And if you had second lunch instead of first lunch, you sometimes didn't get a chicken and Swiss sandwich because they'd be out of them. So that was kind of my inspiration for this. I was like, man, that sounds really good. Because if I try to cook the sandwiches all together in the oven, the chicken patties won't be done before the bread burns. So I'm going to go ahead and just toss those in the air fryer um, until they're I don't, like I said, I'm gonna check them after eight or 10 minutes and see how they are. And then I'm going to place them on some buns. I found these buns in the clearance bread section at Walmart, 42 cents for two of them. I wanted some that were like a little sturdier than just a traditional hamburger bun because I was afraid those would just fall apart. So I'll just um, slice these in half. They may already be sliced too. Put them on a sheet, top it with a little chicken patty after they come out of the air fryer, a piece of cheese, put it under my broiler because my oven is fixed, hallelujah. Um, put it under broiler for a couple minutes and then I am just gonna like put a little bit of like ranch on them I think maybe and call it a day. To go along with that I don't even feel like cooking any vegetables so I just have some baby carrots and cucumbers that I have in the fridge that I'm gonna serve with some ranch dressing 
And I do though have something that was an impulse buy that I think I'm gonna throw in the air fryer after I make the chicken patties. I saw these in the freezer section. The Arby's curly fries, I've never tried this before. I love Arby's curly fries. I hardly ever get them. I get the roast beef sandwiches, but I feel like when I go out to eat now or I eat fast food, I'll get like the sandwiches or the entrees. I don't get the fries a lot anymore. But I wondered if these would be good in the air fryer. Like, so I thought I'd just make up a few of those to go along with the sandwiches as well. Again, all of this is probably not even going to amount to five minutes of work. <laughs> um, and we're gonna have dinner and then we're gonna be off to swim because we have that tonight too, so. Okay, here it is and I went a slightly different direction with this sandwich. I forgot to mention that I am using provolone instead of Swiss because my kids do not care for Swiss cheese. And then I remembered as I was assembling the sandwiches that I actually have a little bit of pizza sauce in the refrigerator. So I put a little bit of that on one of the buns along with the cheese and the chicken patty. So it's kind of like a chicken parm sandwich. So I'm really excited about that. The only thing is that I left the sandwiches in the oven just a tad too long. So they're kind of crispy. They're not burnt. That's just the bread is a little crispier than I would like it to be. Then I have the fries and the veggies here on the side. And that's it. That is it for dinner tonight. So came together fast and I'm very pleased with it. <laughs>